Hello and welcome to my M1 iMac simple but effective desk setup. This is tailored to anyone who wants to start a desk setup without breaking the bank and keeping things clean. Starting off with the desk, this is the Lemon Tabletop from Ikea. And hear this, this only costs $9. You will have to provide the legs separately, which is $5 each. All I did was I had a foldable table and I just put the Lemon Tabletop on top of it. Not only is sturdy, it's also wider, so you have more room. And overall, you're utilizing some pieces that you have laying around. That's exactly what I did here. Now, given the desktop a little pop of color, I decided to install some light strips. This is from Omvis. It costs 50 bucks, but this is the cheapest light strips that I can find that supports HomeKit. If you don't care about Apple HomeKit, you can literally get some light strips that's half the price, so about $20 and you're basically getting the same exact experience. And I gotta say, that experience is absolutely insane to say the least, especially when you're watching movies or even playing games. I feel like having the lights behind the desk create some kind of immersion. In terms of the speakers, I went with the HomePod Mini in white just to go alongside with the M1 iMac with its glorious white bezels. And I gotta say, the amount of sound that comes out of the mini HomePod is pretty insane. And especially if you have them stereo paired with two, it's pretty nuts. I just wish Apple would have kept the larger size HomePod because the sound quality on that sounds bananas compared to the HomePod mini. But for this particular setup, the mini HomePods are more appropriate than the larger size HomePod. Because remember, this setup is aimed towards the average consumer, not the professional side. The larger size HomePod, I'll say that for another time when I do the larger size iMac, whenever that comes. And speaking of the iMac, the star of the show, the M1 iMac. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I must say, you're getting incredible value from the performance to the screen quality. It totally blows the previous Intel-based iMacs out the dust or out the water, whatever they say. The engineering team at Apple did a phenomenal job creating the iMac from its thinness and lightness. And in fact, this iMac is so thin that they have to move the headphone jack to the side of the iMac. That's just impressive. The front of the iMac hasn't exactly aged on me. I'm still not a big fan of it, but I understand why Apple went with the design choices. The white bezels going alongside with the, you know, the aesthetics of the room or whatever environment the iMac is gonna be in. I appreciate the white bezels, but the chin, I feel like they could have removed the chin. It would have been a little bit more futuristic to say the least, but overall still a great computer to buy in 2021. In terms of my peripherals, I'm using the standard Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse that came with the M1 iMac. And in terms of the desk mat, this is reversible. So you have green slash gray, but I must say the green matches perfectly with the M1 iMac. And especially with seven colors to choose from, you could pick a color that match your setup well. In this case, I picked up the green one because I have the green plants next to it. I want to make this setup nature focused, greenery, and overall just making the setup more welcoming. I even have the tabletop bamboo to go alongside with the green iMac and the green plants. All the plants you see are real. The only fake plant I have is this one from Ikea. And the reason why it's even here is just to create symmetry. I put up a floating shelf, but just full of plants. And I feel like having plants in your workspace is super important because having a plant is gonna improve your mood, reduce fatigue, lower stress and anxiety, and just overall improve the focus, boosting healing and pain tolerance. Unfortunately, this new iMac totally emits regular USB-A and the SD card reader. I thought of something so unique. I brought a Type-C extension cable, I ran it under my desk, and I brought a USB adapter, and I just attach it underneath the desk. So whenever I want to connect an SD card and or USB-A, the iMac is automatically going to see it without you dragging the iMac to see the ports on the back or having any dongles hanging out. This is a more clean setup.
I just stick on the adhesive on both the dongle and the desk and that's about it. It's not going anywhere, it's super strong. It's really that simple. In terms of my chair, this is the E-Win Gaming Chair. This is the Night Series. What makes this chair so cool, you can lay all the way down, taking a little nap if you want to, or maybe you're watching a movie. Love that so much. And then even the interior, you have this cold cure foam. You have your height adjustment on the armrest. The leather is this durable PVC, so no stains, no cracking, nothing like that on this chair. And just for you guys watching, if you use my code Simply Pops, you get 30% off on all Ewin Gaming chairs, which is incredible. That's a fantastic discount. I highly encourage you guys to check out Ewin if you need a chair.